All right, what's up guys? This is Jake. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can go ahead and find suppliers on Alibaba.com. And I'm going to be showing you a couple different ways you can actually do it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to Alibaba.com right here. And what we're going to first do is start searching for our product here. So at this point, ideally, you already have a general idea of what it is you're trying to sell, what product you're trying to create a brand around. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and just start looking for suppliers that offer that product so in this particular case for this example we're just going to be using a men's watch so in this case we come up here to the search bar and we could type in men's watch and if you want to go ahead and have custom branding on whatever product it is you can put in a couple keywords at the end of the product you're searching for like private label is one or you could also do men's watch custom logo and then you can go ahead and hit search. And what this is going to do is filter the suppliers out that offer custom logos on the particular product. So that way you can order the product with your branding on there. Now, once we go ahead and get our search results here, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is head over here to the left. And when we take a look at supplier types right here, we wanna go ahead and filter out some of these suppliers. So the first thing we'll do is check on verified supplier here. So what this will do is filter out all of these suppliers that are not verified by Alibaba.com. And then the next thing we're going to do is check on trade assurance. And what this does is just give us a insurance policy essentially. So that way if we go ahead and order a product and we don't receive it or we receive a defective product, we can go ahead and file a ticket with Alibaba.com and get our money back. So if we go ahead and check both of these boxes, it's going to filter down the suppliers a lot more. So at this point right now, we can go ahead and just start looking through these different suppliers here. So we can see right here, we have men's watch uh, private label right here. If we come down here, we can see private label wristwatches, and then you can actually see right here where your custom logo would actually go right there. And we can come down here and see more of these right here. So what you would go ahead and do is just go ahead and open up a couple of these. So the first thing we can go ahead and do is take a look at the prices right here, and we can see that first off, the minimum order quantity here is 50 pieces, and we can see that the price varies from $12.50 to $19.30. And this depends on how many that we go ahead and order. And then if we come down here to the customization part, this is where we can take a look at some of the branding here. So we can see if we go ahead and open this up, we can see that they offer a customized logo, which would go ahead and go on the watch right here. They also offer customized packaging as well. And they also will do the graphic customization for you if you want, but most likely you already have this done. But you will notice right here that for this particular supplier, if you want to have a customized logo and customized packaging, the minimum order quantity goes up from 50 to 100. So this is definitely something you want to keep in mind when you're looking through these suppliers. So at this point, if you like the particular product right here and you are comfortable with the price and minimum order quantity, you can go ahead and keep this tab open and we could just continue to look for additional options. So we can just scroll down here and look for another one that we like, and maybe we want to look for one in a lower price range. So if we went ahead and opened this one up right here, we can see that this product here has a minimum order quantity of 300. However, it's only $6.79 per piece compared to the minimum over here of $12.50. And if we come down here to the customization as well, we can see that the customized logo here for the customized logo and packaging, this is also requires a minimum order of 300 pieces right here. And then one other thing we can also take a look at is some suppliers will also go ahead and provide information on their sample policy. If they don't provide sample policies, this is something that we'll have to go ahead and ask them about. But we can see that here they provide samples here. You can get one sample for ten dollars and this is a good thing you can do because you want to go ahead and be able to see the product up front before you order a bunch of them if possible so ideally you would be getting samples from a couple of different suppliers to see which product you like the most so this is one way that you can go ahead and find suppliers on alibaba.com with the direct search function 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you a second way you can actually find suppliers. And this is by setting up a request for a quotation. This will have suppliers actually reaching out and messaging you. So it's pretty cool to go ahead and set up. So if we come up here to the top menu here and go over source on Alibaba and we come down here under sourcing solutions, we can select submit RFQ, which is a request for quotation. And this is what we will get right here. So what we can go ahead and do here is just put in some basic product information here. So in this case, we could just type in men's watch and then we can go ahead and select the category here. So it's going to give us some suggested categories right here. And you just want to select the category that is most relevant to your product here. And then we can select sourcing type here. So in this case, we're going to be looking for a customized product because we want to be able to customize it and get our own branding on it. And then we can go ahead and select the type of customization we're looking for. So in this case, we're looking for a customized logo, but we could also request customized packaging as well. And we can come down here and now select sourcing purpose. And in this particular case, it's going to be retail. And then we can come down here and put the quantity that we are looking for. So let's say we are looking to get 300 pieces initially. And then down here we have the trade terms. Now this can be pretty confusing if you're not familiar with what this is, but to keep it very simple, you just wanna keep it on FOB right here, which stands for free on board. So essentially all this means is that you are going to be paying for the import tax on any of the shipments that you go ahead and get. And the next thing here is the preferred unit price. So you can put in a preferential price here, what you prefer to pay per unit. So if you've already been looking at other products right here as well, and you and you already have a price range you're comfortable paying, you could go ahead and put in something like, let's say $10. But obviously you don't wanna put something too low because if you went in here and you put like $1 for a product like watches that have been between six to 20, then pretty much no suppliers are gonna reach out because you're not willing to pay enough. So you wanna make sure you prefer put a reasonable price in here. And then down here, you can select certain features that you would want for the watch right here as well. So if you wanted to say, let's have it uh, water resistant, and you could go ahead and select different things for the case material as well. So let's say you wanted a wooden case, and then you could select a specific brand right here if you want, but you do not actually have to. And the last thing we have to go ahead and do now is fill in the details right here. So this is where we can directly communicate with the supplier, which actually leads me into the next part of the video, which is where we're going to be discussing how you can actually communicate with suppliers. So there's really two main things that you are looking for when it comes to communicating with suppliers. One, you wanna make sure that the supplier is good and efficient at communicating and is actually reading what you were saying. And two, you want to make sure that the supplier is willing to send you a sample with your custom branding on it. Because if they're only willing to send you a generic sample, you're not really going to get an idea of what your product looks like. So you want to make sure that the supplier can go ahead and send you a sample with branding on it. So what you want to do in here is just you want to ask a couple of basic questions here. And the questions will vary depending on the products you have but you could go in and put a couple of questions right here. And the reason you wanna go ahead and put these questions here is because you want to go ahead and try and determine how well the supplier is at communicating back and forth. So if you go ahead and ask a couple of very specific questions and the supplier goes ahead and gives you very vague or non-specific answers, then they're probably not going to be very good at communication down the line. So you may want to go ahead and pass on that supplier. However, if you ask very specific questions and you get very specific answers, so you can tell that the supplier actually read your questions and took time to try and answer them properly, then that's normally a sign that the supplier's communication is good. And communication is definitely something that's very important when it comes to vetting through these suppliers. So definitely think of a couple specific questions here that you can ask that are relevant to your specific product. And one thing that's relevant to every product is you can always ask wh how, what their sample policy is and whether or not you can get a sample with your custom branding on it. And at this point, we are essentially good to go and you can go ahead and just submit this right here. And then after you submit it, what, you, what would happen is over the next couple of days, you would start getting suppliers on alibaba.com going ahead and reaching out to you with specific offers. So what I would recommend doing is combining the 
RFQ form as well as searching for individual products through the search function here and then try and make a list of around three to five different suppliers that you can go ahead and get sample products from and then you can go ahead and figure out which product is the quality that you are looking for and which one you like the most. Now with that said, before we end the video, I do want to go ahead and give you three additional tips that will help you when you're using Alibaba.com. So the first tip right here is to always pay through Alibaba.com. So some suppliers will ask you to pay outside of Alibaba.com through other payment methods. And if you do this, it's definitely going to be a lot more risky and the chances of you getting scammed goes up substantially because if you pay outside of Alibaba.com, if they don't actually send you the product, then you can't go to Alibaba support because they can't help you because you didn't pay through their website. So definitely make sure you always pay through alibaba.com so that way you just have that level of insurance so you're minimizing the risk of getting scammed so definitely always do that the second thing is make sure that you don't forget about import taxes so this is another expense that can come up when you are bulk ordering your products from alibaba.com and this will vary depending on the country you're in but this is definitely something you want to pay attention to because it's an expense that you're going to have to pay so you want to make sure that you're able to calculate your profit margins correctly. And the last thing I would recommend here is to check out the elite partner event each month to look for vetted suppliers that might be selling products that are within the niche or product line that you're looking to sell. So on Alibaba.com, they have an event called the Elite Partner Event. And essentially what it is, is it's a collection of different already pre-vetted suppliers by Alibaba.com. And they are essentially featured on here each month and every month the list of suppliers will go ahead and change so i will leave a link to this event in the description and what you can go ahead and do is like i said check back each month and you can go ahead and see if any of the suppliers are selling any products that are of interest to you so if we go ahead and take a look at a couple of the suppliers from this month we can see that in this case we have a supplier right here that's selling a lot of furniture products we can see they sell a lot of sofas and if we take a look at this supplier here we can see that they are selling sheet metal related products right here so things like laser cutter machines and press brakes and if we come over here we can see that this supplier is actually selling popular electronics we see that they're selling a lot of different tablets right here this supplier over here is actually selling electronics as well, things like smartwatches, uh, portable speakers, and power banks. And if we took a look at this one here, we can see this supplier is actually selling different types of battery powered vehicles right here. So they have like a battery powered scooter. They actually have a, a little tricycle right here. And then we can see that this supplier here is actually selling 3D printers. So we can see here that there's a very wide variety of suppliers that sell a very wide variation of products within the Elite Partner event featured suppliers, which updates every month. So it's definitely worth checking that out. So with that said, that's how you can go ahead and find suppliers on Alibaba.com. If you did enjoy this video and found it helpful, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.